green, green flag coming here. This time by Midget Main Event is underway. Hammered down from Phillips County. We got a battle out in front for the lead. Order at it for a second, but here comes the 10 of Lance Bennett around the outside. Lance Bennett running the 91. Sorry, he's 10 to my notes, but 91 in the car. He's running toe line, middle line. Sorry, toe and middle line. Low line, round. Here he is. First lap in the books, and it belongs to Bennett. Order in his second row. There he is in fourth, but oh, up and around the outside is Bob R in the 2 H. Digging, digging, digging down the back straight is the 91 of Lance Bennett, and he's running away from everybody. Oh, baby, he's got Bob Hart going to try to set it up, maybe make a move. Oh, they both slide right under the low side of that lap traffic. Keith Roush has got to stay up there with him. Bennett opens the door, and there goes Bob Hart. Lance Bennett opened the door. Bob Hart said, thank you, sir. Slid right on through, took a piece of pie. Bennett going to try to switch him back. Bob Hart slams the door. They got some lap traffic in front of him here. Now we go around five to go. Oh, Har got stuck behind the lap traffic. Bennett tried to take advantage, but couldn't. Bennett's going to slide up and open the door for Roush. Roush, Keith Roush up in a second now. Maybe here we come to the checkers. It's going to be a battle, but Bob Har is going to hold him off for the checkered flag. Up Maine, Lloyd Meski had a champion of Nebraska on the pole. He won a couple of mains out here last year. Let's see if he can pull another one out here on opening night from Phillips County Raceway. Green flag coming and we're hammered down in the stock car main. Meski gets the start he wanted. Abby's tailing right behind him. Then it's Miller in the 49 car. PJ Rob back there battling with Kyle Clough right now. Brian Herrick, the OHP, he's going to round out that sixth place spot. Kyle Clough, top five. Here we come through three and four, looking to get lap one down. Oh, big contact between Herrick and the 49 of Miller. Meski in that 32, going to try to start us off here once again. Green flag, can he do it twice? Yes, he will. Boy, Meski was back to back. Excellent starts there. He's got the lead. Billy Abbey going to give him a little love tap. Then it's Drew Miller. Oh, here comes Herrick. We got a little three wide battle at the back of the pack. Herrick down low. PJ Rob the ham to the sandwich with Kyle Clough up high. Top five are going to go like this as we come around. Aiden Miller going to go all the way up to the top rope and off the backside of the track. So we're way too hard over there. Back to your leader now. That's Lloyd Meski. Oh, we got a car off the back of the track. That's Aiden Miller, the 49M. He's going to get back on here, but he's going to come right on in front of your leader of Meski. Meski will have to navigate around this here. It might slow him down just a bit, but he's got a big enough lead. It shouldn't affect it at all. Let's just see here. It's going to be the 32. Lloyd Meski, he started on the pole, and he didn't let that position go the entire race out of champion Nebraska, and he's a champion once again tonight. Don't matter one bit. Green flag is being dropped, and here we go in your dwarf car division. Rusty to grow with... Kind of a lackluster start there. He'll drop back into second, but Ben Haney got the shot off the outside, and he's leading, and oh, baby, look at him scoot down the backstretch. Ben Haney is trying to run away from everybody like his life depends on it right now, coming out of turn four. Uh, Rusty DeGroat in second, a little bit of a three-wide battle. William Taylor going to win that one. William Taylor up into third. He's got Ben Haney's got a massive lead on all of them. William Taylor is in Brad Ernst's old car. That 4C, he's running in second right now. He's still got the 58 of McEwen behind him. And then Hunter in the 16. Rounding out that top five coming down by the front stretch right now. That's going to be the 5C of Aaron Bierman. He's a half lap down on the leader. That's the three of Ben Haney coming up on a little bit of lap traffic right now out of turn four. But here's your man, Ben Haney, in the three car. He is going to take home another checkered flag. It's off the top. Green flag coming this time by Mark Scott in hand. We're ready to go. Modified main, fine main event is hammered down. Great start from Brandon Clough. He is up on that top rope and he is boogie, boogie, boogie in, baby. He found the ghost stick and he's letting it flow. In second is Geist and Steffens. They're trading paint down the backstretch. Steffens inside. Geist on that high line. Geist going to win it out of the corner. And third, Steffens going by Max. By Don Geist. All the action right now is still in that battle for third between Bustle and Steffens and Smith. Smith going up on the high line. Now that 10T is going to get up and around the outside of Bustle. Great work by the 10T of Smith.
Brett Smith found that good shift there. He hit that corner two, and he's looking to do it again. Here's the three and four. He's up on the high side. He's got the stick to the floor. He's looking for some more go juice. Mark Smith, Mark Smith. Brett Smith, Brett Smith, sorry. Regardless, he's up into third, and he is driving that thing. Justin Bustle trying to find the juice on the high side, and he's going to spin it down the front stretch. Justin Bustle tried to, oh, we got another car coming with him. That's Tom Quint. And with the bragging rights of the Clough brothers, green flag is coming, and Brandon with another great start here. Brandon Clough looks comfortable like it's a mid-season race right now. He has got that car absolutely dialed in, but Brett Smith had the great start on the outside of Dom Geist there, and Brett Smith worked his way up into second. Brett has looked, his hair's on fire. He knows Brett Smith's right behind him. Brett takes it up to the top. He's going to lose position. He will. Brandon Clough wins it. Brett Smith slides it to third, and Dom Geist makes it third, and Dom Geist back into second. <laughs> We're getting ready. Bobby Stocks are hammered down from Phillips County. Great start by Tanner. We got him bumping and rubbing through one and two, but Tanner Clough comes out on top. He's got Lambert just right behind, and it's Cole Gibbs in the 51. Hunter Smith with a couple of bunched up cars behind him. It's going to be the 45 of Landauer and the X car of Taylor going up to the top side. Taylor got up into the soft stuff. He'll lose a little bit. Hunter, comes Hunter Smith. Hunter's tired of sitting back there. He's going to try a shot on the high side here. Can he give him the boot scoot and book it? He's got it. What a run by Hunter Smith up and around the outside of Taylor Landauer. This has been a very, very familiar sight from Holyoke, Colorado the last couple of years. Tanner Club in first with Hunter Smith right behind. We have seen a lot of these two running first and second. And once again tonight, it's going to be the 2021 track champion and tonight's champion, Tanner Clough, taking home yet another checkered flag. Green flag going to be coming here. Danny Councilman and Cooper getting us started off the top. And Councilman with a great start. Cooper up on that high side. Oh, baby. He tried to take a shot up and around the outside of Danny. Danny unfortunately cut it off there, and we're digging down the back stretch now with Councilman, your leader, followed by Cooper. Then it's going to be Donovan, and the pack is Alvarez in the 50. Pack is Alvarez in the 58. One down. 14 to go. Councilman leads it. <laughs> Danny Councilman out of turn four again. If I was Michael hits the wall on the back stretch. Aaron Michael with a big contact on the wall back there. That'll get us a yellow. Danny's getting ready for that green flag. He's got it ripped up, but Cooper's right behind him. He says, you're not going to get away. Well, Danny did get away quite a bit there, but he's still got a little bit of a leash on him. Cooper trying to reel him in here. We're going to get the white flag this time by. David Alvarez going to come around. Councilman wins it. The Cooper spin, the Donovan spin, and here comes David Alvarez. He's going to take home second. Raceway and the 2022 season is underway. Good start from Riggs. Kobe Pierce is matching him right on the outside. They're going one and two down the back straight. Kobe Pierce trying to get a little bit of an edge on that outside line, but Ryan Riggs got it locked down on the low line. Here goes Pierce up to the cushion. Kobe Pierce using the extra track, and he's got the lead now. Kobe Pierce trying to hold on. Here comes Plemons giving it a shot from the clouds. It's not going to happen. Kobe Pierce wins it. It's the 09 of Chris Chris getting this thing started. Green flag, and we're hammered down in the Dwarf Car Division. Chris is really locking this thing down, but Jason Woods has found the boogie stick. Oh, he couldn't hold on. Jason Woods off the backside of the track. Jason Woods is all over this place. Jason Woods taking out cones, and he's going to hit the brakes off the back of the track. He's running away from Jason Woods. Here comes Woods off the top rope. It's not enough. Chris Chris wins it. 25 laps. Here we go. Austin Ostrom, Ed Lemonade starting us off. Hammer down in your 600 division. Oh, we lost a wheel. Chase McCullough, the 12C, loses a tire. Check a flag. Oh, and there it is. The 47 of Colby Sokol takes it. It's Worthington and Katie Barthel on the outside pole getting the green flag. And whoa. 
contact. Brianna Worthington takes out Leanne O'Lear, but she brings it back on the track. What a save from Leanne O'Lear. 20 lap mayhem. El Paso County is hammered down in the stock car division. TJ Banks with a good little lead there. TJ chops down on him. Big, big, big contact. Trading paint. TJ Banks just takes Cam O'Lear into the wall. And Kelly Uterman wheeling and dealing out of the corner. Joe Bellum's right up there with him though, and they are nose to nose. White Lightning out there doing his thing through one and two of the 71D. Here comes Kelly, gonna try to give him a shot back down to here through three and four. Trayton Payne, Kelly Uterman pushes him up the track. Uterman in the middle. Kelly Uterman takes out Joe Bellum. Big contact in the middle. Huge bunch up, huge wreck. Brian Lessig, Brian Lessig in the 41 makes it through. And Brian Lessig's gonna win it. 12 laps, let's see who takes home the money in your modified main. The 77 of Jason Haug takes the checkered flag. Here we go, hammer down hobby stuff. Dogs. It's not gonna work tonight. Hunter Smith is your winner. Off the back row, green flag. Here we go, Sport Mod Main. Danny Councilman's your new leader. I don't know if Danny's been challenged like this at El Paso in a while. He's gonna hold back a bit. He's gonna go for the signature inside switch. He's gonna let uh, Garrett Murphy go. Excuse me, Derek Murphy slide high. Danny looking for the inside, but it's not there. Danny Councilman spins it up high, and Danny gets. Cr crunched and the 37m of Derek Murphy is your main event champion Here comes Jacob Worthington setting it in hard, and O'Lear's gonna flip it in turn three. And she's just gonna drive it right back on the track. El Paso County Raceway, are you ready? Cause we're hammered down in your sprint car lead. Great start for Ryan Riggs, but uh-oh, he got loose and he slid her up to the top side of the wall, and Buddy's gonna get back in the gear, and there he goes. Oh, big hiccup out of two, and he loses power. Ryan Riggs is dead down the back straight. <laughs> no, heartbreak city. Pierce is in boogie town, and he's boogieing down, bringing us through three and four, mashing the gas, and here he goes with another checkered flag. Out of Golden, Colorado, your main event winner, Colby Pierce. 20 lap main event, El Paso County Raceway. We are hammered down in your A-class division. And another spin. Oh, big spin in four, big wreck in four. Big wreck in four. Looks like it was the 3R of Hunter Rhodes with a spin. He's going to pull. Oh, maybe Skyler Rhodes. I believe that's Skyler, actually. He spun. Green flag coming here. Kelly Russell giving it to him. Chase McCullough takes it, and he's running away down the front stretch. But Chase McCullough is burning and turning and turning and burning, leading us through three and four here once again. And Chase McCullough is going to be your main event winner. Main event, Dwarf Car Division, and it's Haney with Chris leading us off. Here we go. Ben Haney gets the good start, but here comes Chris Christ on the inside, and Chris Christ is gonna dig away with the lead. Here comes Jason Woods on the inside of Chris. They're trading a little paint, bumping rubber, and here goes Woods with the slide job, puts that rear in the front, and Jason Woods out of Colorado Springs is your new leader. Sliding up to the high side, but Jason Woods takes home the checkered flag. Main event winner in the 82 car. Jason Woods! Oh, baby, El Paso County Raceway, make a little noise. Your stock car main event is going to get the green flag in here. We go! Great start from Cam O'Lear. He's going to put the bumper into the side of Kelly Uterman, and he's going to dig away down the back stretch. Cam O'Lear trying to run away from Uterman. He's also got DJ right behind Reed and Lessig. That's your top five. Uterman on the go stick. Got the lead now. Uterman way out in front. We got a spin and a car dead on the low side of four. That's Dalton Jewel. Jewel going to get out of the way. Who's going to have it at the line? Kelly Uterman takes the checker.
Your main event winner in the 12Y, Kelly Uterman. Let's see if you can start off two for two this year. Big Sister going to try to hold him off. Going to bring us through three and four. And Jacob Worthington takes back-to-back -back checkered flags to start the year. Your Sport Compact main event winner, Jacob Worthington. We're going to swing it out wide. Green flag is flying. Let's see if we can get a clean start here. They're going to work their ways down into one and two. Stock up on that high line. He's going to have Danny. Here comes Councilman on the inside. Oh, baby. Councilman found another gear. He's on the go juice. Now they're going to be door to door through three and four. Councilman going to put that rear end right into the front side of the 37M contact out of the corner and Danny's your new leader and there's a spin by Daniels oh is he gonna collect anybody he will Jarno with a little hit there but he'll keep it going Danny's got fire in the car Danny's got fire in the engine compartment Danny's stopping in four he's got fire in the car Danny's still ripping this thing big fire in the 4D's engine right now Danny Councilman, I'm, I think he's trying to put it out. He's trying to get some dust in there, but he is on fire, fully on fire. Tough break for Danny. He didn't cause the yellow, but like I said, he stopped. 14 laps down, six to go, and Derek Murphy is your leader once again. He's got Dave Stock and Chris O'Connor behind. Fallowell and Jarno, Daniels and Chamberlain. Danny Councilman with six laps left. What can Danny Councilman do from the back of the pack? Derek Murphy takes off. Oh, Danny Councilman mashing the gas and he's up to third. Here comes Derek Murphy out of turn four. Murphy takes home back-to-back -back checkered flags. Your main event winner out of Colorado Springs, Derek Murphy. Here we go, green flag coming, Hayden Hanson, TJ Stark gonna start us off, top rope, 20 lap main event, restricted micros. Pushing the needle down the front stretch. Gonna run into a little bit of lap traffic here and we gotta flip in turn four, flip in four. Enzo Spicola gonna try to take a shot here, Spicola getting up there, we got a car on the inside, but Hayden Hanson takes home the checkered. All the way from North Platte, Nebraska, your main event winner in the 319, Hayden Hansen. Here we go, though. Green flag dropping. Chad Nelson, Justin Uterman, hobby stocks are hammered down. Here comes Hunter Smith. Hunter Smith, Gilligan digging up into third, and he's got it now. Hunter Smith. Kind of sitting back nowhere in nowhere land, and here he comes up into third. Keep your eyes on the one as he goes low. Chad Nelson goes high. Hunter trying to find the giddy up and go. He's got his foot through the floor. He's yabba dabba doing it. Can Gilligan take the lead? Oh, this lap traffic is being a big problem for Chad Nelson. He's going to get the nose on the inside. He's going to give the contact to the 37, and here comes Chad Nelson. Three wide ham to the sandwich. Hold on. Oh, baby, he's holding on by the skin of his teeth. Chad Nelson trying to keep this lead, and Hunter Smith's going to boogie away down the backstretch. And here comes Gilligan. Hunter Smith takes another checkered flag. El Paso County Raceway, are you ready for main event action? Yeah, buddy, that's what I like to hear. Ryan Riggs and Kobe Pierce, the two big dogs coming off the top. Let's see what they can do. It's going to be bare knuckle from the beginning. Green flag is out, and we're hammered down from El Paso. Great start by Riggs in the 28, and he is digging, digging, digging down the back straight, trying to run away from Kobe Pierce. He's, here comes Pierce up and around the outside. Pierce going to try the boot scoot and boogie, and he's got it. Oh, baby, Kobe Pierce, your new leader. Pierce going to get up and around, and oh, Ryan Riggs off the track. Riggs off the track in turn four all the way up to the wall. Kobe Pierce is running away. He sees the checkered flag, and Kobe Pierce takes home another one. Here we go, mini mod main event. 
Kelly Russell gonna give him the checkered, and the Z car is your mini mod main event champion. Here we go, main event is hammered down in your lightning sprint division, and Johnny Boost got a good start. Right now, the man with the plan is Johnny Boost. That 24B is just flying around this track, baby. Nobody catching Johnny Boost here today. Johnny gonna slide her out of turn four, and Johnny with a normal sight for him. I don't even know what else to say, but Johnny takes home another checkered flag. Libinati and Galacia starting us off the 98 and 17. Here we go. Green flag is dropping and we're underway and you're now 600 division. The checker flag's gonna come out and there it is. The 98 car and Libinati is your winner. Green flag is flying and there goes Toby Rice. Extremely slow start there but Rice got the ghost stick to the floor now and he's burning them. Johnny up and around the outside and Johnny Uterman is your new leader. We got a battle for the lead at the line. It's going to be Johnny. Uterman holds on to the lead that time around, but Hunter Smith is on that low line. Hunter Smith is all over the gas, and Gilligan is running away. Smith is going to take home the checkered flag. Johnny Uterman gives the love a big tap to the 99X, and Nelson Buddy holds on. Here comes a green flag once again. Jarno and Payne taking off. Let's see if we can keep it clean here this time by. Danny Councilman trying to get on that inside there, and he will. He'll scoot right around the low side of Jarno and Payne, and Danny Councilman's your leader. Good work by Derek Murphy in the 37M, and he's up into second, but there is no way, no way, no way, Jose. He is not catching Danny Councilman tonight. Murphy and Councilman Green-White here. Check it, Flag coming next time. Stock up into the wall. We got a mess going down the front stretch, but Danny doesn't care. Danny's ripping down the back stretch. He's going to bring it out of turn four. Murphy right behind him, but it's not enough. Danny Councilman wins it. Stock car main event is getting underway here. We are hammered down. And we've got a wreck already down the front stretch. O'Lear. Banks and uh, PJ Rob getting into each other, but they all keep it straight. Kelly Uterman with a good start that time. He's in there with Quentin Uterman. Green gonna slide it up high and he got into the marbles and oh, we got a big bunch up and a huge wreck in turn two. Here comes Uterman on the inside of Alan Green and Uterman's just gonna run by him like Alan Green is standing in water. Three time Kelly Uterman with some more money in his pocket. Get you some fan appreciation in, get you some swag and stuff and that's a good start there from Enzo Spicola. Going into three and coming out of turn four is going to be another main event win and another checkered flag for the 11E of Enzo Spicola. Here we go with that green flag. Jason Woods is all over the ghost stick and he's letting it go. And there's another one tonight. Another feature winner sticker going on the car for Jason Woods. Green flag dropping for the 50 of Steve Worthington. 15 laps here for Steve. What can he do? Here comes Steve leading us around the horn in that 50 machine. And Steve Worthington takes the checkered flag. Green flag in the air. Lane Bellum in that 71D going to jump out to the number one spot real quick. DJ Banks going to go around. Phil Reed going around too. Oh, Puckett gets into Reed. Oh, issues for Bellum. Looks like she may have come down the track and gotten into the 12Y of Kelly Uterman. So that's going to hand the lead to the 0-5. Uterman gets a good run off of turn two. He's going to take one final shot at Ecker, but not going to be close enough. Main event win going to go to the 0-5, Randy Ecker. They go out of the car. Randy Ecker, main event winner here in the stock cars. And Dustin Horak going to lead us to the green flag here. 12 laps. Here we go. Horak getting a good run on that low side. But Roth 
Gets a real good run on that top side, using all the momentum. Oh, Horak goes around. Dustin Horak in that number two spot in the 2D. Checker flag out. Ryan Rowe is going to take the main event win here in the A-Mods. They go out of the car. Ryan Roth, your main event winner here in the A-Mods. Green flag back in the air. Payne with a good run into turn one, but Councilman going to close that door. Oh, big contact. So it's Councilman Murphy, Fletcher, your top three. One final shot for Derek Murphy. He's gonna make a mistake and give up the number two spot. Oh, another car going around. So Murphy's gonna hold on to second. There you go, one more time. Give it up for the 4D machine, Donnie Councilman, or Danny Councilman, excuse me. Now we're green. Oh, a little bit of contact going into one. Pill and the four machine getting tangled up. That's going to give a huge lead to that number four. The zero five of Ecker taking a peek to the low side. So Ecker now up to that number two spot. Side by side down the back straightaway. Ecker has that low line back. The four side by side, they touch again. The four is going to take the win. They go out of the car. Your main event winner here in the dwarf car is one of the craziest races all night. Billy Taylor. Manzanares bringing us down way, way slow. Green flag in the air. Empson going to get the jump on the outside there. That 19 machine taking a peek to the low side as well. We're going to be almost three wide into the corner. The 19 through the infield. Oh, big contact there with Burke. Check your flag in the air for the 33 machine, Derek Empson. They go out of the car. The 33, Derek Empson. Then the 45, or excuse me, the 44. And then the 45 of Colt Evil. Through the first turn we go, Hunter Smith out to the early lead in the 1S machine. Just needs to hold on to it and not get tangled up with some lap traffic. He's gonna take a peek to the high side, doesn't matter. Back down to the low side. Checkered flag in the air. Hunter Smith gonna go wire to wire here in the Hobby Stock main event. There you go, out of the car. Hunter Smith, your main event winner here in the Hobby Stocks. Starting main events for the night. No, we got contact already. We got a big wreck and a flip on the front stretch. Mini mods getting into each other to start this thing off from El Paso. Make sure you go help out our vendors. Go support our vendors and get yourself some good food. There's little Nick rolling here. <laughs> ASCS sprint cars are hammered down. Ryan Riggs with a, I don't want to say a bad start, but it wasn't the one he's looking for. I know it. Gary Land got off to a great start. He went first to third through one and two. He got stuck in the soft stuff. Joel Mellon was up into second there for a minute. He's going to slide to the top side. Oh, Gary Land is stuck in the low line. Berman will get a restart. We're looking for a green flag coming around here. Ryan Riggs on the pole looking for a good start, and he got it this time. A lot better start for Riggs, and he is running away. Big battle for a second, and Mellon holds on. Your main event winner in the 28 car, Ryan Riggs. It's Brian Lessig and PJ Robb going to bring it off the top. Green flag is dropping. We're hammer down in your stock car main event. Lessig with a good start. He's got Rob and Uterman right behind him. Rob on the outside. Uterman on that inside line. Here comes DJ Banks in the 6J. Lessig going up to the soft stuff. Uterman is stuck in the tack on the low line, and he's just going to run away with the lead. DJ Banks is going to follow. For the side of him, Lainey Bellum and Ryan O'Lear tangled up. They catch Quinn Uterman. Big flip on the backstretch. Big flip on the backstretch.
Five laps left. Kelly Uterman getting the green flag, and he's got a couple of big dogs right behind him. Here comes Kelly Uterman. He's got DJ behind him. DJ's going to give it a push. I don't know if there's going to be enough. DJ all over the juice, but it's not enough, and Kelly wins it. Out of Rocky Ford Cardo, your main event winner, Kelly Uterman. 20 lap main event, Dave Stock, Danny Councilman, Councilman, your track defending track champion. He won the last main event and he's looking to double up and here we go, Sport Mod main event. Danny got a good start and he's out in front and he is just running this thing. He's banging on that drum and he's trying to run away. Danny trying to get away from Stock in the 22S and there's the 37M of Derek, or excuse me, yes, Derek Murphy. Oh man, he's sitting in 30, almost took a run up there. And we got fire on a car somewhere. I don't know where the fire's at. Oh, fire in the nine to Jesse Fowler. The nine to Jesse Fallowell is on fire. Didn't quite catch that, but he is. He's not smoking, he's on fire. he got flame going in the car. Jesse Fellow gonna stop on the back stretch and we get the crews in there. Good work by the BST crew to get in there fast and get that thing put out. I don't even think Danny knows where the brakes are. Well, that's a lie because he's braking hard going in the corners. You watch him here, that front left slams down. He's gonna bring it around. He'll bring it out of the corner, hit the gas pedal, rip it right back up, and he's going down the front stretch with another yellow. That's the 12 double D of David Daniels. Oh, baby, get out of the way. Danny Councilman comes around again and collects yet another checker flag. Race fans, your main event winner in the 4D car, Danny Councilman! Looking for that green flag, Jason Woods, Danny Councilman, we are hammered down! Great start for Jason Woods there in the 86, or 82, 82, 82 car. Jason Woods is just flying away. He got the boom pad to the floor, leading him out of turn four, and he's just going to rip off that front stretch, stepping on the skunk baby, making her stingy. William Taylor's going to give her the juice, give it a shot, but it's not enough. Jason Woods in the 82 wins it. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event winner in the 82 car, Jason Woods. Here we go, green flag is dropping and we're underway in the hobby stock division. Cody Biker's also a man out of Illinois, St. Joseph, Illinois. Thanks for coming out and racing with us, folks. This Chad Cooper's got the lead down the back stretch, and he's banging on that drum, baby. He's got Hunter Smith and Chad Nelson in tow. They're trading a little bit of paint, a little bit of rubbing, a little bit of bumping out of the corner there down the front stretch of Chad Nelson. Or, excuse me, Chad Cooper owns lap number one. And here goes Hunter on the inside of Chad. Shad opened the door wide open for Hunter. He took a little shot at it there. They're door to door through three and four. Shad all the way up to the top rope. It's not going to work out. Hunter's your new leader. Shad Cooper found something up in the top side. Oh, and he's going to go into the wall. Shad Cooper was trying to run the top side and the soft stuff, and I think he just got a little loose. Smith down the back straight, and he is digging, digging, digging. He can smell the money. Oh, baby, Hunter Smith chasing the cheddar here again tonight at El Paso County Raceway. And he's going to go home a little bit richer. Out of Brush, Colorado, your main event winner, Hunter Smith. Oh, I can't believe it. I don't think I've ever seen that. We got four ladies out there duking it out. Can we get, can we make some noise? We got four, four ladies out there going for the checkered flag. And here we go, hammer down. I Brianna Worthington's going low to high down the front stretch. Oh, might have slightly opened the door there a bit. She found the go juice again. She got it flowing. Leanne O'Lear is making this thing close, though. She is not going to let Brianna get away. Brianna's coming out of the corners kind of high, going up to the wall while Leanna is keeping it painted on the low line of the track all the way around. Who's it going to be at the line? Worthington's got the edge. She's going to hold on. And Brianna Worthington wins it. 
out of Falcon, Colorado, your main event winner, Brianna Worthington!